recording. We will be transitioning in five, four, three, two. We're live. Good morning, Owasso. This is the Twins with Owasso Live, and this is the Morning Loop. It is currently 41 degrees outside. It's a little drizzly out, like there's some rain happening, but it's not bad. It's more like a mist than it is just hard rain, but be advised the roads could be a little slick because it was not raining this morning at 5 when we were making our way to the gym this morning, and it was warmer too. So it's getting chillier as the day goes on as it's getting windier with this little weather front blowing through so it's definitely waterproof jacket weather or maybe even heavy jacket weather hoodie weather today folks so be advised for that because it is uh, a little wet and a little cold out so with that being said traffic conditions are again it's friday not bad dude does no one work on friday does no one drive into tulsa on friday what is going on like there's just hardly any traffic at all I mean, that's the biggest clump of cars I've seen go by in a, in, a, in a hot minute. And there's hardly, I mean, it's just like one, two, three driving past it in front of us over here by the Y. So it's just Friday's not a work day anymore, I guess, or just people don't have to commute into work. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's just odd because traffic was pretty heavy and dense the last couple of days. So mm-hmm. it's just interesting how things kind of play out now. As far as local events go, nothing really on the calendar other than Donuts and Dignitaries today, and that is from 9 to 10, so Donuts with Dignitaries. Go check that out. That's a chamber event put on by the Owasso Chamber, and you can go and meet the elected officials of the city of Owasso and have some donuts and maybe rub shoulders with uh, our elected officials and you know maybe see what their uh, plan for the city is, or hopefully if there's not a plan. It's just, a, well, we're just going to keep the status quo. Things are pretty good. You know, maybe we'll try to clean up the crime or increase the police force, you know, that way. Because we have had a sling and strew of crimes run around here of late. Like, you know, those uh, burglaries and break-ins, the cars and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's, uh, Owasso's definitely not the town it used to be. But like I said, it, it, with a growing town comes growing problems. And crime's going to be one of those problems. And I don't imagine it's a lot of local people. I, I think it's folks who just know about the Owasso area and come by and, you know, they scout and then they come and they start breaking into the cars and breaking into homes, burglarizing. So for the most part, still a pretty good little community. We have the occasional, uh, wild, crazy thing that happens. But, uh, like I said, I'll be interested. I, I think we might have Chad go over there and do a little live stream, kind of see what's going on. Maybe you can chat with, the some of the folks over there and, let Depends on how they feel are. about live streaming. It might just be me just filming with one of the cameras or something. But, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind live streaming it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, you, you might go over there and just check it out for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's about all that's going on in the events on the calendar. And national news, there's really not a lot going on either. A couple of, I guess they're investigating some corrupt officials who are making very large cash payments to, it was like a, what was she, like a mayor or something or a, I'm not sure what she even was. All I know is that she was giving money to her lover, new yeah, new boyfriend, and she paid him in cash. And she said that, yeah, he, she was like, yeah, my dad always told me to keep nine thousand dollars in cash on me just to be safe. And people in the courtroom were laughing at that. So not looking good for her. I sorry, I don't remember her name or anything. But like I said, it's that's how sad the news cycle is. We're talking about of. Uh, obvious government corruption which is good like hopefully this woman gets kicked out of her seat and they replace her but if it's if somebody as corrupt as her could get elected in that district i imagine whoever's going to follow up or whoever they're going to replace with is probably going to be just as corrupt if not more so so that's where we're at with that but like i said it's good to see bad people getting their feet held to the fire that's always a good thing now whether or not the it's, you know like i said it's not a, in court it's not about what you know it's about what you can prove so i mean if they kept the paper trails clean then they should be fine and like that's why you do cash payments and whatnot not uh checks or you know uh money transfers and things like that so interesting stuff but that's about all that's going on in the the world of national news there's not a lot going on and just kind of 
slowing down as we go into the weekend. So Mm -hmm. I hope everyone out there has a wonderful weekend. It's going to be a little bit on the chillier side, unfortunately. But try to get out, spend time with friends, family, or if you're working, build that business and uh, make the community a better place for everybody and make that money. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. This is the Twins with the Wasso Live, and we are signing off. God bless you all.